Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Thank you so much for your patience. I am getting this up a little bit later than usual. Many things have been going down. I made sure to write down <laughs> some of the messages that came up. So I spent a lot of the day in meditation, just preparing to bring this to you. So before we get into that, we do have the 1111 portal energy coming up. This is a big time of manifestation. This is uh, be careful what you wish for kind of time. It's a time of ascension. So if you want a personal reading to get prepared for that time, please don't wait, okay? <laughs> get in line for your reading now. And please know that if you are still waiting on a personal reading, I am doing them as best as I can. I do not want to just jam through people's readings. I want to make sure I am well rested, open, ready to go. So you have the best reading possible. Of course, I continue this entire week to work on those, so just be aware of that. But go to angelsouls444.com if you would like to get in line for your own personal reading. The other thing I need to announce is that the lives that I've been doing will continue. The next one being preparing for the 1111 portal. Please make sure that you are watching the community page of my YouTube channel. That is where I will be posting the launch of those tickets, any other updates, all of that good stuff. But we are moving away from Bright. Sadly, Bright took a turn. It affected a lot of people. It happens. Uh, I mean, I was working with such a great team over there. It's very sad that I won't be doing these lives with them, but as I ask them to keep me updated, hopefully they will, okay, on how they are doing. But fear not, we will be doing those lives just watch and see, especially the description box. I'll make sure that is always updated. Now, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to film the November overview. If you hear the pages, that's, that's sorry, it's making noise. Um, I'm going to be filming that as well. So as we get into this, this would be a very important time to be working with Archangel Michael. The reason for that would be obviously protection, clearing, clearing our energy, making sure we're not, that we're being smart and we are preparing in a way that is appropriate, but that we're not going off the rails, being paranoid, all of that. Again, I do have um, some information here that I will be reading off. Um, I'm telling you guys, make sure you're clearing your energy November will be very much uh, an Archangel Metatron kind of energy. And Metatron does help us clear as well and to see wisdom behind actions. So let me dive in here for this video at least. And the messages that were coming through that I channeled earlier and wrote down. And right off the bat they say, watch how you are talking to each other or about each other. So catch your thoughts. That's a big thing about 1111 as well. And the 1010 portal is all about ending and new beginning, you know, having endings and new beginnings. So if we're in this energy of, you know, constantly trying to tear somebody down so that we feel important or um, judging, right? And this is you know, especially a time here in the United States where people are judging one another, um, flinging around advice and you know, all those kinds of things. And it says, shield your energy, but take accountability. So this message, I believe, is talking about, don't just sit back and act as if you're not putting any kind of negative energy out into the world. Denial will be the fastest thing that tears us down because people are just not self-aware and not wanting to take, as it says here, accountability for how they view others. All right, so... Try to take this time to heal up any resentments you might have. Uh, do your healing. Okay, do your healing. Uh, do not suppose you are above another. Prepare not just physically, but spiritually. Know you can shift outcomes. Heighten, this is a heightened time of communication and manifestation. Those who misuse this will see an immediate backlash. This is an immense time of healing. So that was just for, you know, this video here. But, I mean, we are going to be getting immediate feedback if we are cruel to one another. If we, again, are judging, are 
you know, just whatever, just taking, if you're not centered enough and if you don't, if you have a limited capacity for love, this is going to be a really, really rough time. And what's more, we're going to see a lot of people who had previously just fed off of one another, felt that they deserved more than another. You're going to start seeing them fall away. There is no reward for standing up and protecting people who have done bad things. Now, I'm not saying that they're, you know, they can't be redeemed or anything like that, but this is really a time of don't be selfish, <laughs> right? So don't go to the store and start hoarding. Around here in Colorado, we get such frigid temperatures. When it does hit, we'll have like 80 degrees one day and it'll be below zero the next. So, you know, we have to prepare for things like that and windstorms and hailstorms and blizzards. And, and so this time of year, I learned... I learned from moving to Colorado to make sure <laughs> that you're ready for anything uh, because, again, the weather can change so drastically. So, you know, this is the time of year that I get prepared anyway. But um, there might be some very surprising, so not this week necessarily. I mean, this week is um, opening up. It's endings. It's, you know, again, a chance to heal. But... I think this is the week where we start realizing you had better rest up <laughs> because there are going to be things that you're going to have to, yes, maybe uh, physically deal with, depending on where you live, um, but also spiritually speaking. So you can shift outcomes. That message came up. What that means is, sorry, I just bumped the microphone. What that means is that, you know, when we start hearing, we've already been doing this. When we hear of, oh, so-and-so's ego is getting riled, you know, how many of us start focusing on peace and start focusing on shifting? And I don't, when I say focus, I don't mean mentally focus on I am peace, I am peace. That is very pretentious, right? And it's not doing anything. It's not having a real effect. It's coming from the heart space, having this space kind of changing and shifting and uh, focusing on the good, the joy, right? So let's be clear. That is not burying your head in the sand and saying, I'm too spiritual to look at anything. Also very pretentious. And chances are you're one of the ones that's going to get a huge backlash because you're miss. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you're misusing the energy. All right, so we have clear audience. It's Archangel Zadkiel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So this is trusting your instincts and any messages and downloads that might be coming for you. And yes, Zadkiel is very associated, like Saint Germain, with the violet flame. I, I chose the right <laughs> outfit for this one. So be thinking about that. How do you want to transmute? That's what it is. When we hear all of these things coming in, um, you know, from the news or, or what have you, and, you know, you can take that energy and go, okay, that's happening. How can I show up? How can I help? But then I'm going to transmute this into love. Or I'm going to transmute this into an energy where we go from feeling powerless to we are strong and we can come through anything. But the clear audience is clear hearing. So pay attention to messages that are coming through your dreams, especially, and especially they're saying when you wake up, when you're waking up in the morning. Okay. So let's get some more here. Divine order. This is what we're talking about here. This goes beyond anything we could have possibly expected, right? Just like the past two years where, you know, like who would have ever known that could have happened like that and for it to go on as long as it has. Um, there could be a return of that. Just please be aware um, or something along those lines. Okay. Divine order, Archangel Raguel. Raguel is being nice to each other. Okay. <laughs> so that goes right along with that channel message that I started this reading with where it's like, watch what you're doing to each other. Watch your thoughts. What kind of energy are you putting out there towards another? If you are somebody who, you know, Especially if it's over petty things. If you're doing that, I mean, come on. You know, like, let's not let our egos get out of control here, right? So it says, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So there is a balancing. We are going to be talking about that come December, okay? 
you know, however you want to see. I mean, there are so many sort of culmination points of energy, especially in December, where we have, you know, 12, 12, 2022. Then we have 12, 21, 2022, 12, 22, <laughs> 2022. Um, I don't know how many lives I can do around all that. But we'll see, okay? Don't forget, I, I do try to see family and hang out with family during that time. So <laughs> we'll see what we can get around. But the divine is coming in and helping. But remember what this earth plane is all about. It's about us incarnating and experimenting with energies, experimenting with duality consciousness. What happens when there is an ego involved that is meant to be a protection, but it's so powerful as a protective modality that it can um, be overused or it can be misused or, you know, it can be misfocused. It can have a broken lens. And so everything that comes through is, is shrouded in whatever kind of conditioning you may have. So the divine order is saying, okay, you may personally, I think a lot of us are going to have a good week. Okay. Um, yes, I'm recording this on a day and part of the heaviness, there's a lot that went down today. Another school, uh, Leslie Jordan has just passed away. God bless his soul. Love him. Oh, I love him so much. And of course, everything else that's going on um, around the world, these platforms are very fussy. If I dare even say one word, they can take it. And I want to be here. So you know what I'm talking about. So my love to all of you standing up and doing what you can for this world, okay? But this divine order is saying, you know, this is a wake-up call. And that's what it feels like through weather, through uh, events. <sighs> yeah, many occurrences. So I'm going to tell you right now, and I'll go into this more in the November uh, video. And I'm going to be having lots of meditations up as well. You can still be doing the 1010 portal meditation that I put up. You can listen to that. You know, whenever you're ready to settle down to do a meditation, it doesn't have to be on 1010. But I'm going to be doing an 1111 one, and I will keep those going. So we have tools and things that we can work with. Um, but the feeling I have around all of this, I would I would call it sort of um, a focused, uh, just focused, not scared. I don't feel great about it. it. Doesn't it doesn't have a good feeling? It doesn't have that. It has that same kind of feeling when we see people doing crazy things. And we could easily slide into the energy of helplessness. Don't do that, okay? We are not helpless. We are powerful. And we can make things happen in a good way. Yeah. And the dark is getting more outlandish about how... It shows up. Um, some, you know, try, some of it tries to show up as like absolute purity, right? Um, and yet others is just, they're just not hiding at all. The like hashtag, here's what I am. So just be watching for that. None of it's cool. No, no. And um, the other way darkness shows up is uh, people ridiculing those who are awakened. Okay. So just be aware of that as well. Gifts from God. So we are going to be protected here. Archangel Sandalfin, balance. He's about the number two in my mind, okay? Sandalfin's all about balancing the physical and the non-physical. So there's going to be some, there, there's a, this week, there's a challenge and a triumph, right? And so there's this feeling of, okay, this is here for me to look at, or there's something going on in the world that we have to deal with, but we're going to come through and, and we're going to be all right. We're going to find a way to come on through. So it says, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. That kind of goes with the uh, clear audience card here. So I think this has a lot to do with we're giving you messages. We're helping you understand how to proceed, what to focus on, um, and priorities too. This actually, this card kind of looks like the priorities card with Metatron in this deck. So we can't, yeah, they're saying watch focusing on frivolous things. That doesn't mean that you can't, um, you know, simplify your life and enjoy kicking back and relaxing. There's this guy, a grown man who opens toys live on TikTok and I can't get enough of him. Okay. <laughs> I have to see, I'm a 45 year old woman about to turn 46 here in November. 
I got to see what toys are in there too. <laughs> but it makes me feel lighthearted, you know. So I'm not saying not to do things like that for yourself, but I'm talking about um, being petty and um, or shallow. Or do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I think you get it. <laughs> I don't need to beat that one into the ground. I think I think you get that one. Let's get one more out of this deck and then we'll move on to this other one. Okay, so prosperity. Here's here's what's funny. Remember I was saying like there is, um, we're being focused, we're being ready. What are, what are these people over here going to do? Meaning people maybe in power or whatever. So there's a lot of watching this. There's going to be lots of information out there to get you scared, obviously, right? Um... And probably a lot of, oh, this is going to be really bad for you financially or blah, 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 blah. Louise Hay said in one of her affirmation recordings, that may be true for some, but it does not have to be true for me. Now, I can't quote unquote, <laughs> that's not verbatim, but it was something along the lines of that. I would highly recommend that you go and look up her affirmations because you know, she, she did really beautiful work and I feel like she probably still supports us in very big ways, but it doesn't have to be true for us. Okay. We don't have to take the mainstream narrative anymore. And as I say that one of my lights started buzzing. Is it my light? I don't know if that's going to pick up on the mic. There's like a buzzing all of a sudden. That's... Okay, anyway, it says, <laughs> it's Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided for as you follow your intuition. Listen to your guidance, okay? And manifest your dreams into reality. Again, that was my lamp. Okay, it's fine now. She blinked and she's just tired, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but as we come up on this portal, this manifestation time, right? Um, be very careful about what you're believing, especially when it comes to prosperity. So if you believe things are going to go bad, guess what? You get all these, you, know, you lose a form of income or you, you know, end up getting a lot of bills or something along those lines. Something unexpected pops up. But when you realize, <laughs> just popped right out of my hand, we've got two of them here. Um, but when you realize that I can shift my energy, that doesn't have to be true for me. I can create what's in front of me you'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, one of the things I was saying, <laughs> I was just thinking of groceries, you know, they keep saying, Oh, inflation. And that's true. You see the price of eggs insane. But I went into the grocery store with the mindset of, I'm going to find exactly what I need. And I always get, you know, I, I always get lucky with what I find. And I went in and I'll tell you what, like inflated food prices, maybe it was just the food I was choosing that wasn't affected. I was still able to get my greens at the same price. I'm sitting here acting like I have perfect eating. I don't, okay? I'm a girl who likes to eat. I like, that. that's like a very, I'm like a Taurus rising. So, you know, like, yeah. Oh, we don't have to go into all that. But anyway, <laughs> but the, the foods that I was choosing, none of it was inflated. Weird, right? Uh, so just keep that in mind. Just try it. Just try it as a little experiment. So the two cards we have out here are very interesting. We have Desiree, no conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. The world is changing. And every time, every time I see this card that there's like a beach and an ocean, at least that makes me think of that. If you're on the coast of anywhere or on the border of anything, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, like a coast, but a border, please be careful. Don't just assume, oh, that couldn't affect me. Let me just say there's a wide radius from the point of action. Okay. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but we're right there. And you know it, you know it. And all it takes is for someone to throw a tantrum. Slow awakening here, but we'll get there. So then that came out right with this one. Rochelle, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, boom, prosperity is coming to you now. Okay, so prosperity is going to come in a lot of different forms. Be allowing of it. Don't see it coming and go, you know what, couldn't possibly be. I'm not going to, no, no, thank you, no. And, <laughs> you know, 
I mean, I'm kind of laughing about it, but it's also not funny because a lot of us, uh, depending on your background, people who have become people pleasers, you do, we all, I did this for the longest time, even up until very recently, we keep ourselves small because we don't want to be like the narcissists, right, that, that have come at us. So we play small, we hang back, we don't want the attention, we don't want to be the scapegoat, we don't want people using us as a target. And so we keep ourselves from being successful or we allow ourselves to believe some sort of narrative that if you're spiritual, then you shouldn't be making money. Or if you are, whatever, I mean, we could sit here and go on and on and on. There are all these things out there to keep some people small so other people can shine. And we're just not doing that anymore. There you go. You're watching this video there. <laughs> Let it be the day you let all that go and you say, I'm not doing that. I'm going to go create. I'm going to go give my all to something. I'm going to see if I can be successful. I want to see what that's like. I'm going to engage in something that I love. Because once we do that or spend time with someone that you love, when we do that, it lightens our heart. I just, you know, spoke to my family earlier today and, you know, we're talking about travel plans and we're talking about uh, Christmas and um, Christmas gifts and all that kind of stuff. And when I got off the phone, I just felt relaxed. I just felt like, ah, okay, I should have been recording <laughs> the, this video, uh, but that's great. I'm glad I got to touch base with them and uh, got to speak to my little nephew and, and all of that. So, you know, when we do that, we put this beautiful energy out into the collective. But what's the narrative that stops us? If you want to go and put work on hold so that you can communicate with your family for a minute, you don't have your priorities straight. Or if you're exhausted and you're like, I just need to kick back for a little bit, you're lazy. Let me tell you something. I was embarrassed to say this, but I'll say it anyway. Um, <laughs> as soon as all this beautiful work came in, I've had the best clients. You guys have just been incredible and I love you so much. Like seriously, it's been an, a, a joy and an honor. I'm not trying to just like, you know, I'm not just saying that it's been a joy and an honor to connect into your energies. Um, but when all that happened, I got hit with a migraine. That migraine lasted seven days, y'all. Seven days. I don't get those very often, but when they hit, whew, okay, can't talk, can't see, the whole bit, right? So there was that. Then the, the little migraine, she starts to go away, and I feel a cold coming on. Shout out to Anna's Apothecary in Manitou Springs. You have to ask for it. It's in the back, but they have this elderberry syrup that is everything. I swear by it. I'm not a doctor. This is a replacement for medical advice. But I'm just saying. Like, I took that for one day like you would take cough syrup. Yeah, you hear me. No congestion. I'm good. No pain. She's back. A little tired still, but <laughs> it's all good. So that really long, unnecessary story was just an example of like, I've been tired. I have been tired. And I really, anytime I would kick back, I would start to feel anxious because I knew people were, I felt like people were kind of counting on me. Um, whether it was to show up and make sure I had video content for them to watch or um, for their reading, you know, all of that. And that was, and I want to share this. So in case you kind of go through this, maybe, maybe this will be meaningful to you. I stopped and went, yeah, but if I don't rest, I'm not going to be any good to the people I'm trying to show up for. I'm sick right now and I need to recover. And I did what I could. <laughs> right. And again, I'm feeling all better now. So, you know, I'll be, I'm kind of a workaholic, I'll admit it. So I will be uh, doing all that this week. But I just want to put that out there that there, this is a time where we might need to be very mindful of our health again. And um, well, always, right. And working with Archangel Raphael with that. And as I said, working with Archangel Michael, but allowing ourselves to take a break here. We're going to be inundated with things happening that comes right at the end of something that just drained us for two years, over two years. Please mind your health. And remember these two cards. Oh, no, the three cards. Excuse me. Hold on. Let me bring back the good stuff. <laughs> Gifts from God. We have prosperity and another card about prosperity. 
okay? <laughs> Can't trust me with nothing. Oh, you know, so we have good things occurring. And there is a bit of a setup here going into November. To just close this out, for you as an individual, challenges and victories, okay? A challenge and then a victory. Like, you're going to get it all worked out. And then there's everything else. And that's where we're being called up to do that internal spiritual work to help, okay? Maybe it's helping, always help the children, always help the children, innocent people. I know that's kind of mean of me to say, but if, if you're trying to save somebody who doesn't want to be saved, what you going to do, okay? Meanwhile, people who really need help are not getting it. Okay, so you, I'm not here to tell you how to feel about that, but, you know, make your own decisions. But, you know, be conscientious of what's going on in your heart when you hear things out there. Don't let, you got to be balanced here, right? Sandalfin energy, be very balanced. Don't just go, oh, I, I can't listen to that and shut down because I just need to focus on myself right now. That's not, okay, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Who are you to say I'm allowed or not allowed, Michelle? Well, I, just, just don't do it okay it's not great and also you don't want to go towards you know you're hanging on everything that's happening and you're soaking it all up so that you can't even function in your own life feel me balancing it leave your comments down below let me know how you this is all affecting you what might be happening for you again if you want a personal reading with me please don't wait just don't wait, okay? <laughs> Angelsouls444.com and be checking out for the next live. I'm going to try to get it up um, probably maybe towards the end of this week or early next week on a brand new platform. So make sure you're watching for that ticket drop. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. As always, I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye.